they're like very um they're basically they can still kind of live as like curtain bangs what i used to have but yeah i don't know i just felt like i needed something because my hair is getting really long and i feel like my um not really long but long for me i guess and the curtain bangs that i used to have were kind of like a little weird and they didn't like blend into the rest of my hair and it was i don't know <laughs> it was getting weird so i just gave myself bangs and i like it you know, every once in a while I get the urge to have bangs again and then like a month later I get very sick of it very quickly. So yeah, we'll see how long this lasts. But hi, welcome to the vlog. Welcome to my little, I guess like holiday break vlog. It's December 28th today. Yeah, we went and did Christmas at Brandon's family's place and I just wanted to like take a bit of time to chill and unwind and relax and so that was nice and then I woke up this morning and I felt ready so um let's get into this vlog I um I kind of want to go to the mall today I'm working on an illustration that I haven't really been documenting or anything just because I wanted to kind of like chill with it I worked on it while like during Christmas and stuff so I didn't want to pull my camera out every time I'll show you guys where I'm at because um, this will be posted by the time that this vlog goes up. But yeah, there it is. You guys can see it's like a, it's a study of Zoe Kravitz. <laughs> um, I just felt like doing a study and so I wanted to like somehow make it into like a poster or like one of those designs that I've been doing and yeah, I wanted to make it a alphabet superset, so it's K week, or it was K week, I'm behind. So yeah, this idea just popped into my head and I like it. But yeah, I've been putting off working on the hands. Literally everything else is finished, I just need to render out the hands. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go to the mall and go to like uh, the coffee shop there or like sit in the cafeteria and finish this up and then maybe do a little bit of like figure sketching. So I was gifted this Nespresso for Christmas by Brandon's family. Um, excuse my hair, looking a little ratty right now. It's still drying. Yeah, but it came with like this, like a array of the different pods and the different like kinds of coffee or whatever. So I'm just kind of going through and trying them to see which ones I like. And this one is um, not necessarily to my um, taste, but 
still fine. Um, but yeah, hello, good morning. It's it's New Year's Eve. We we've made it to the end of 2023, and I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling ready to take on the new year. It's kind of crazy. It doesn't feel like it's it's gonna be the next year tomorrow. I don't feel like invigorated with like a bunch of resolutions or anything. I feel like, I don't know, maybe if I like spend time and I think about it, like it, it can be like exciting and a fresh start and whatever, but I'm trying really hard to like look at my life as the day to day and like taking things as they come and trying to make every day a fresh start, you know what I mean? Instead of like putting all this weight on a new year. But yeah, anyways, I'm I'm feeling good. I'm feeling rested. It's been like a week of my um, little holiday break so far. And for the first week, I really just kind of rested and saw lots of friends and family, ate lots of food, did the holiday thing. And yeah, now I'm feeling ready to like kind of tackle the few little things that I wanted to do during my break. So yeah, one of those things is my friend Morg has requested a new painting. Um, she wants a painting for their living room and I said, hell yeah, I'll do it. I haven't done like a canvas painting in a while, not since like that, um, that gallery one that I did. And I just really love the process of preparing a canvas and making like a nice painting and whatever. And, um, Last New Year's is when I worked on that crane painting and I ended up giving that to her as well. Um, so it's hanging in their house and then so yeah, they wanted another one um, for their space that um, is a little bit more like custom to it. So I'm gonna pay it a lot more attention to like color and whatever else to kind of make it custom for them. So Brandon and I are gonna go to Home Depot today because I wanna get some drywall panels. If you guys have seen in my like little painting area or whatever, my like little studio area, I have some card, like large cardboard sheets that I got for the purpose of attaching canvas to, to paint on, which would be great and fine if they weren't warped. I arri uh, they arrived and they just have like this giant bend in them. Um, and I don't know if you remember, like that was on some vlog, previous vlog before as well, but I was like trying to like bend it the other way or like flatten it by like putting heavy shit on it. And I don't know, nothing I can, there's nothing I can do to like get the warp out. So I just want like a nice flat surface and the idea of drywall popped into my head because it's relatively cheap, it's pretty light. And um, so yeah, we're gonna go grab that today. morning guys wow it's 2024 happy new year <laughs> yeah i just got up coffee's on but yeah it it feels weird it feels i don't know it feels normal but it also feels like hmm it's 2024 that's kind of cool <laughs> but yeah i think um 
I did a bit of journaling yesterday, just kind of reflecting a little bit, thinking about the year ahead. Yesterday was weird. It was another like lazy day. I prepped that canvas, so that was good. Canvas prep always kind of takes time because you gotta wait for the gesso to, to dry. But yeah, I'm gonna continue work on this guy today. And then, I'm, yeah, I'm thinking to start my day, I'm gonna just think a little bit and um, I don't know, record my thoughts, think about the new year, remember the old year and just get on with my day. But yeah, since it's a new month, um, a new year, my friend Tyler Lemmermeyer, this is his calendar that he sent me last year and then he sent me a new one. So it's time to swap that out. There's the first little cover page. Very cool. His stuff is so like expressive and interesting, his illustrations. Okay, cute, January. It's a little polar bear, cute. So there we go. New year, new month, new calendar. kind of crazy to think back to like last New Year's. I can remember it specifically because um, because I made a video about it and <laughs> it was a whole video about how in 2023 my goal was to give less fucks. And while I feel like I did that in a sense, I did a lot of things that I was scared to do. I kept doing YouTube. Yeah, I feel like my priorities have changed a little bit. My perspective has changed a little bit. And when I was journaling, I yesterday I kind of like wrote a long list of like tangibles of like things that I wanted to do in 2024, things that I wanted to maintain, goals, whatever. And now having slept on it, I kind of um, went back and like simplified the list a little bit to like two main uh, goals or two main points. And I feel like of all the things that I want to do with my life, I think the most important thing that I want and the thing that if I can focus on this, then the rest of my life, whether or not I succeed on these goals or these deliverables or maintain these like smaller, like tangible things, if I can do this one thing, then I feel like I'll feel good. And that is to live my life as intentionally and as slowly as possible. And I know that like is super vague, but it's things like, I don't know, when I really try to not distract myself or when I try to take time on the things that I'm doing or I don't know, just like be present in whatever life throws at me, you know, I find that like when I do that, like when I specifically like don't put anything on in the background while I'm working or I go for walks or I take time to go to like a cafe and just do nothing or like read a book or a sketchbook, things like that. Things that are like slower and less, less kind of like overwhelming, I guess. Those are the times in my life that I look back and I crave that. I, I, I think back to those times in my life and those are my favorite, you know? Favorite parts of 2023 that come to mind are like times Obviously, you know, a lot of good memories with like people that I love, with friends and family, but on a personal level, the moments where I'm alone and I'm just like, there's nothing expected of me, I don't feel pressure, um, and I'm just kind of like enjoying the moment, those times are what comes to mind <laughs> of like my favorite memories with myself. So yeah, I feel like that stuff can, you can kind of lose track of how to kind of be there mentally when like life gets busy or like I know especially when I have like lots of like projects on the go or lots of deadlines and I'm kind of stressed out about that. I'll try to like handle that as well as I can while still trying to be like kind to myself and try to kind of like take time and like shave out little pockets of my day to be a little slower. Um, but you know, it's tough when you know, there's so many things about life and the systems that be that, um, 
you can't really control and you have to find a way to live within capitalism and all of the things about society that are difficult and put a lot of pressure on people. Just finding a way to live within that in any way that you can that's kind and intentional and slow because I don't know, I don't want to live my life fast. I want to live it as slowly as possible and take my time with it as much as I can. And then my second point was to get out of my own way. And I guess that's like kind of similar to give less fucks, I guess? I don't know. It, it deals with like self-doubt and um, I don't know, like a lot of things like with the shop opening and stuff, that was a big achievement. Or I don't know, I have a bunch of like goals and things like that, things that I can imagine for myself in the future that in order to get there seems like it would be simple, but there's a lot of self-doubt attached to that and I'm kind of standing in my own way of taking the steps to get myself to those points, you know what I mean? For example, I want to paint a lot more in 2023, uh, 2024. <laughs> I want to put myself out there and try and get more illustration jobs. And um, yeah, I don't know, that one, that one is tough. Um, I feel like it's like a part of the mystery of being human. Why, you know, sometimes it just feels so impossible to do the things that you so greatly desire, you know, when the path seems relatively simple. So yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that second one is a little bit less clear to me, but I know that you know, and I just have things that I want to do and I want my life to become and in order to do those things, I need to get out of my way. So, <sighs> yeah. Happy New Year, guys. Hope you guys had a nice little holiday. Hope you had a nice New Year's Eve. Um, and New Year's, I guess, because this is coming out well after um, New Year's Day. So all the best to you guys this year. Priority, be kind to yourself. Talk to yourself nicely, forgive yourself. It all needs to kind of be peaceful in here for it to be peaceful out there. And that's a huge thing, the biggest thing, <laughs> arguably. Okay, um, so yeah, my canvas is ready to go. This is the drywall we got yesterday. It's very nice, it's very big, it's very tall. It's eight feet, but yeah, as you can see, there's like the split in the middle. And I think um, what I want to do eventually, because I'm going to need Brandon's help, is get like some mending plates and like put them on the back and then like kind of screw in each side so that it's like sealed together in the middle and then maybe like putty down the center so it's smooth and then so it's like one smooth surface and so I can do paintings of many sizes. But yeah, for now, the canvas that I'm working on is gonna fit on one of these panels, but it is gonna be horizontal, so I just have to move it horizontally and then I guess I'll just be working kind of low to the ground. Alrighty team, hello! This segment, as you can see, I'm beginning to work on the actual drawing portion of my painting. Off camera, I just kind of sketched really small in my sketchbook the general composition of what I wanted. So Morg said that she, you know, was super open to the content of the painting and what that would be. I suggested fish because she really loves fish. If you saw, I forget how many vlogs ago, I, I drew on her helmet, her um, drifting helmet, um, some fish, some koi fish, so I thought I would do something pretty similar. So yeah, I knew I wanted it to kind of be like multiple small fish rather than a design featuring like giant fish, just so that it like kind of fits into more of like a chill vibe rather than like a big extravagant kind of like detailed piece of like the details of a fish and more of just like the motion of a fish and um, 
I don't know, just like more atmospheric in that way, I guess. So yeah, I knew I wanted a bunch of fish kind of swimming and like the, the really nice motion that you get from that and then incorporate some sort of like sun or like circle in the way that I like to. And that is like super common in, in um, Japanese compositions and things like that. Yeah, that's kind of what I ended up with. And then I, as you can see, I took it into um, my iPad and then continued to refine and figure out, you know, the specifics of like fish placement and um, exactly where it's gonna go. I made the canvas in Procreate an exact ratio copy of what the canvas size was so that once I'm finished with this kind of composition and digital version, I can transfer it onto the canvas pretty easily. So yeah, basically what I'm working on here is what is literally going to be going onto the canvas. So I wanted to get um, all of the placement and the vibe all right. What's nice about working in digital first uh, composition wise and then transferring onto canvas is that you can obviously it's a lot easier to like draw and erase and like move things around on digital whereas if you if I were to do that directly onto the canvas um you know canvas material is not really made to be like drawn and erased and drawn and erased on like it kind of messes with it I feel like a lot of people who work with canvas do it this way they they figure out the the composition and the drawing first and then they transfer it on either with charcoal or a projector like how i'm going to okay hi guys it's me <laughs> yeah so i've kind of just been working on the fish painting over the last little while i've kind of settled on this general composition i like the flow of it and I picked up this uh, acrylic ink today. It's the same ink that I used for my nest gallery painting, if you guys saw that video. It's the same brand, it's Liquitex acrylic ink. It's really nice stuff. You can like dilute it and um, I think it dries waterproof, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, I have this in red, yellow, and blue, but for Morgue, my friend, her living room kind of has like accents of like terracotta and like this kind of oxidized, like kind of more rustic red. Um, so I wanted to kind of color match as close as I could to that so that when it's like hung up in her space, it looks nice and kind of matches those accents. So yeah, I'm just gonna, uh, I'm kind of getting started on refining out uh, like the details of the fish and like I'm drawing out what I'm going to be um, putting on canvas later. I'm hoping to get this done tonight and I think I'm gonna kind of like chill with it. Just do this on my own time, um, kind of off camera because it is, as you guys know, a, another layer of friction to have my camera here and to be paying attention to what I'm recording. So that's the plan. Um, got my canvas all ready to go back there. I really like this um, new drywall setup I have going. Obviously, like I said before, like I'm gonna make it a little bit more permanent eventually, but um, yeah, it just feels a lot more like sturdy and stable than my um, cardboard deal that I was doing earlier or that I was doing previously. Just gonna have a nice chill little night working on this, maybe alter some more clothing. I was, I was altering some clothes that I have earlier today. Usually when I buy stuff, I buy a lot of clothes secondhand. Um, like most of my clothes are thrifted or consigned and often I'll have to like alter it or take it in a little bit or I do that with like older clothes that I notice I haven't worn in a while. I just think of like ways to kind of change it so that I'll like it more and then I'll like wear it more. So that's kind of like a fun brain empty kind of activity that I do in between work things. So yeah, that's gonna be my night. I'm backlit as fuck. Hi, why are you guys so short? Okay, hi, um, what's up? It's Wednesday. Wednesday and I have until Monday to enjoy my holiday break. So yeah, I don't know. I, I, um, I've had two weeks off. I've given myself two weeks off for the holidays and it's almost up. The break is almost finished and not to um, kind of feel yourself like counting down the days, you know, until you have to go back to work, but really like, <laughs> I 
Um, I'm very privileged to, you know, work for myself and be freelance and whatever. And while like, yes, after, after Monday or whatever, I'm gonna have to do work and, you know, monitor my emails and stuff and like not be so chill and not be so like free in terms of like my schedule. I'm reminding myself that, you know, for the most part, life won't be so different. But yeah, I, uh, I finished the fish um, refinement this morning, which is exciting. So here she is. I kind of did like the, the lines and then kind of like shading of what I want to do. I'm going to do it in a similar style to what I did for my nest gallery piece with just like the solid red line work and then a bit of like um, gradation or like a fade where like the shading lives. These are the lines just with the shading removed. And so I'm going to take this image and transfer it onto my canvas here. I've made it to scale and to ratio of the same thing. So I'm going to break out my projector and get started on that. And then, yeah. Sorry, guys, I'm feeling like a little bit slow and a little bit um, tired today. I don't know why. I think maybe like today was gloomy. So I feel like I didn't really feel motivated to do much today. Um, yeah, I finished this and then I went to the gym and then I came back and then I kind of just played Skyrim for a bit, which is okay. And I'm, I'm trying to tell myself that like, um, especially with like my little holiday break coming to an end, you know, thinking about all the things that I wanted to do with my break and all the things that I didn't do with my break. It's easy to fall into that trap, I feel like, of, you know, setting your expectations very high for yourself when you get like a set amount of time off or something. And then, you know, you find yourself going through it and there's only so much more time left for you to do those things. But I'm trying to, you know, be easy on myself. I kind of um, reflected on that a little bit this morning. I'm trying to tell myself that like, the holidays are, you know, this time for a break and this time that like, you know, people catch up on rest and it's okay to like do nothing with it if you want to. Um, and now that, you know, I feel like I've gotten a lot of rest and I'm looking at, you know, the days that I have left, I want to make good progress on this painting. But it's also nice to like have um, something that you spend time on. So I'm not like in a super rush to get this done by like the end of my holiday break, but yeah. So that's that's the plan for the next few days. I'm gonna work on this and um, just kind of just kind of vibe and be nice to myself. And if I feel like playing Skyrim, I'm gonna play some Skyrim. And now's the time for me to do that. Um, but yeah, and then on the weekend, I'm going to Banff, which is like the like a town in the Rocky Mountains. And uh, I'm gonna go with a couple of my friends and we're just gonna spend the night there, have a cute little overnight trip. It'll be like a nice way to wrap up the break, I think. And then it's Monday and then we're done. <sighs> Hi, good morning. Sorry, I'm still like waking up. Oh, it's sunny today, thank God. It really like messes me up when it's gloomy all day. I'm very grateful to live in my city because we get, what was it? Like the, the most days of sun in Canada or something? We're the sunniest city in Canada, something like that. 
Um, so I'm grateful for that. As much as I hide from the sun in terms of like UV rays, I really love some good sunshine. So grateful for that today. And yeah, last night I finished the um, transfer. So it's all kind of penciled in on the canvas there. You literally can't see anything uh, on camera here, but I'll, I'll shoot some closer up B-roll so you guys can see what it looks like. Yeah, so it's exciting. I'm excited to, um, I'm gonna start painting today. Uh, I think I'm just gonna go in and do all of the line art and um, kind of just vibe with that. I feel like the rest of the painting is gonna get a lot more like complicated because each of the fish have their own kind of like fade and like gradation. And so that takes a lot of, you know, building and concentration and carefulness so you don't mess up the um the gradation or whatever and then once that's in i might want to like add in some like scale detailing i haven't really decided yet i'm gonna kind of like look at it once it's kind of like at that stage with all the like shading and whatever and then decide what level of of detail i want to add with the scales if at all um Hi, I've changed. Um, so yeah, this is the progress on the painting so far. There it is. Um, I feel like on camera it's coming up a little less saturated. I don't know what it's gonna look like once I do all of my like posts and stuff and color grading. Um, but yeah, the, the red is a little bit darker than I was expecting. This is what it looks like in the bottle. So I think with the the pencil underneath and then the, I guess the canvas isn't like completely perfectly white. It is drawing a little bit darker, which I feel like is normal for acrylics. This is what um, my little like water jar looks like. So that's the kind of color that I'm expecting when I do the shading and once I use water to kind of like open it up. And so I think it's gonna like turn out pretty nice and not too dark. But you know, this um, this darker red isn't terrible either. But yeah, <sighs> I'm gonna take a break. I'm kind of telling myself that I'm chill to kind of pick at this for the next little while. I'm hoping to have it done in maybe like the next couple weeks or something like that. So yeah, I'm happy with my progress and the sun is just starting to set now. So I think that's a good time to stop. Not that like I need a bunch of sunlight to work on this. I just prefer, <laughs> to paint when it's not dark outside. I don't know why, but yeah, I think I'm gonna do some Japanese homework now. I've been working my way through um, a chapter of homework that um, my sister and I are doing. We're following the, the Genki textbook and workbook. If any of you guys have taken Japanese in like a school setting or anything like that, I feel like that's the textbook that everybody uses. Um, it's been really good so far, but uh, yeah, it's just taking me some time to um, to get through this one chapter for some reason. <laughs> one of my New Year's resolutions, or whatever, <laughs> um, was to continue learning and studying Japanese and, you know, get better at it in the hopes that, like, when I go back next time, I'll be able to speak more and more. Mary-san, this restaurant's tempura is delicious. Tempura? 
いいですね。えー、っと、すき焼き。え ?3000 円高いですね。そうですね。あのー、うどんは600円です。じゃあ、私はうどん。じゃあ、私も。I like those listening ones. <laughs> you have to like listen to their conversation and then the workbook like asks you questions about like what you were listening to. So it's like, I don't know, it's, it's fun. It's like you're a part of a conversation. <laughs> Hi, today's Friday and I'm thinking I'll work a little bit more on the painting. So I've been off for the past like multiple days. Um, of course, it's been filled with like family things and like Christmas things and lots of like seeing people and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I'm feeling ready, you know? I'm, I'm feeling a little bit like bored <laughs> kind of, which is good. You know, I think it means that I've gotten my rest and I'm ready to like get back to doing stuff and get back to work and, and get back to normal life. So yeah, I'm feeling rested and this uh, this next weekend should be nice to kind of top it off. me a little bit. A toddler waking up early on Christmas morning out of sheer excitement and five second commercial, the drama begins. Bro, you so. Ralph Wayne's girlfriend. As is demonstrated in Matt's birthday Zoom call. By earlier design decisions, I think a really useful pointer for this comes up in original Fallout creator Tim Kaine's GDC retrospective. So we don't care where people can go. They can go anywhere they want. If they go to some area that's too strong for them, they're gonna get killed. And then they'll learn not, they'll learn not to go in there yet. Okay, Ooh. yeah, so here's the progress. Um, making my way, you know, downtown, walking fast, faces past. Um, yeah, fishes are coming together. It's starting to take shape, which is very cool. Um, yeah, feeling good about it. It's really enjoyable to have a larger project like this kind of on the go. It gives me purpose. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, I'm stopping here because the sun's setting and I'm very tired. I don't know if it's, I've, I've been going to the gym for the past couple of weeks. I started going back. Um, I had a gym membership in 2022 and kind of did that for that year, but then I canceled it for 2023 just because I found myself like falling off and like not going enough and not getting my money's worth of the membership. And plus last year was a big year for travel for me. Yeah, so anyways, I, I miss it. And so I got my membership back and I've been going pretty regularly each week. Yeah, I went earlier today and I'm just so tired. Like whenever, like I want to maintain going to the gym regularly and like make that a part of my life and just like something that I maintain into my older age. Like that's that's the main goal of, of being active for me and maintaining like a regular routine of exercise is that I want to age well <laughs> and you know be able to feel young even as I get older in terms of like my my body and what I'm able to do but yeah holy fuck I'm tired maybe it's because I did cardio today or like maybe I don't know I'm still kind of getting used to exerting so much energy that like I hadn't haven't done in a while Maybe it'll get better, but God, whenever I go to the gym, I'm very tired for the rest of the day <laughs> and it's hard to like do other stuff, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe I need to like change my diet or like account for, I don't know. I don't know. Thoughts? Maybe I should do some research. Obviously I should, I should do my own research on this, but anyways, um, yeah, now that this is done, I kind of wanted to paint the cover of my um, sketchbook number nine. Because that one is, this is what it looks like. Um, so it's like cute or whatever. I just kind of like very messily wrote on the side here. 
and I don't really, it's whatever, like I would rather it be black. So I was thinking I might try to um, just like paint it with some India ink. The cover is made from this like fabric stuff. So I'm thinking like once I make it all black that I can go in with like a my gold pen or something, what I've done with my other black sketchbooks and then write down sketchbook number nine. So yeah, I think I'll do that. Maybe it's not the smartest thing to um, be wearing these sweatpants while I do this, but I'll be careful. Reminder of the choices they personally made. This is what role-playing games are about. New Vegas strikes a perfect balance, adding new stuff to the setting entirely. And this is admirable because it's apparently very developing tensions and politics of the how much of a struggle it is to get them to change their And speaking of Veronica, her quest to try, uh, uh, despite what some games will tell you, and even though they're an iconic and cool faction, they're giving them the chance of a small sort of redemption. It just feels so good. Many of them don't even like being looked at by people. I really like how every fight with super mutants in this game is gangs of raiders. There's no quests related to him. He's just... I feel like it already looks so much better. I did another layer of ink on the front because you could still kind of read the like writing or whatever that I had there. Yay. <laughs> now I want to draw in it. I've been playing a lot of Skyrim lately. I feel like I've talked about this recently, but yeah, basically come December, Skyrim was available on PS Plus, which we have on the on the PlayStation, and I downloaded it, and I played Skyrim through once, I think like a couple of years ago or something like that, on the Xbox. No, it was more than a couple of years ago, because it was before the pandemic. It must have been like 2019 then, I think, probably, or early 2020, and yeah, it's, it's one of my favorite games. It's so big and so fun and there's so much to do. And so yeah, I, I started replaying it. And basically all of December through like all of my busy work schedule things and all my like December deadlines and things I needed to wrap up, all I wanted to do was play Skyrim. <laughs> and for the past little while being on holiday, and being on break, I have definitely indulged and now coming to the end of my little break. I don't know, I played lots in the past few days especially. I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of settling out of it, I think, which is good. Um, Cause I don't know, I feel like when I'm into a new game, I'm into it for like a little bit. And then I kind of like get like the, the cravings kind of wear off, I guess. Um, and so I feel like it's starting to wear off now, which like playing video games and all that is like great for, you know, just doing something, some sort of like brain empty task or whatever. It's a nice way to like unwind. But yeah, yesterday I had the feeling of like, I was playing it and I had the feeling of like, mm, I don't really want to play anymore. So yeah, now that I feel kind of settled in that, I'm going to do some sketchbooking, I think, in my brand new black sketchbook. All right, y'all, um, we're back on voiceover, um, doing our silly little sketchbook sesh. It's really interesting how much like having something that's like a little bit nice and making something a little bit nice for yourself can really motivate you to like do something specifically for like the sketchbook, you know, I, I don't know. I, I wasn't in love with what the sketchbook looked like, the cover and whatever, and now that it's like nice and clean and black, um, it kind of feels like a new thing. So it made me like feel like it was new and I was like, oh, I want to draw in my new sketchbook. Um, <laughs> even though it's like the same thing. It's really interesting. So yeah, anyways, I just wanted to, you know, doodle uh, whatever. I think I got a little reference image from Pinterest of another a muscle mommy. Um, I've been really enjoying drawing muscular women, men too, um, but just something about like being able to see anatomy through people's skin by them being like very fit is uh, super fun to draw. It feels like anatomy practice. 
um, mixed in with like my normal figure drawing stuff. So yeah, that's kind of been my vibe lately. And then I got this um, this new pen from it was a it was a Christmas gift. Um, it's like a nice ballpoint pen. I've never had like a nice metal pen before. I'm sure like I don't know I'm not like a pen connoisseur or whatever, but it feels very like smooth and good and I haven't really You know drawn with a ballpoint pen in a really long time. I think I had a phase Maybe maybe it wasn't ballpoint pens. Maybe it was gel pens, but I had a phase growing up that um I liked sketching with a pen and like the permanence, I guess, of that and not being able to erase things. I feel like I've talked about this before, but just like knowing that you're using a material that you can't erase kind of feels a little bit special and like each stroke that you lay down has to be very intentional. But yeah, this new pen that I'm using here for this uh, portrait that I'm doing, it feels really good and I feel like ballpoint pens are kind of underrated as like a art material because it it has the i don't know the like boldness and the permanence of ink because that's what it is but something about like the ballpoint allows you to like use it as if it's a pencil with like lighter strokes or like heavier strokes and things like that it feels very versatile um so yeah i really enjoy playing with that and then um yeah i just wanted to fill in the page a little bit with some doodles of some leaves with this green Muji um, highlighter marker thingy. Yeah, I've talked about this before. I really like adding in those like more like solid um, decorative background elements to kind of make a page feel complete and kind of like scrapbooky almost. I think it's very charming and nice. Good morning. I'm filming on my iPhone and I'm, I'm not going to take my camera camera, my, my DSLR, to um, our little weekend trip. But yeah, what time is it? I don't know because there's my phone. Um, hey Google. What time is it? It's 8 11 a.m. Okay, so the girls will be here um, at 9 and then we'll be off.
Okay, but like in the middle. It's a Okay, 